First is a silent prayer. So we'll start with the silent prayer. Everyone can close your eyes for the silent prayer. Okay, Ayan, you can start the answer. Ayan, you can start the answer. You can start the answer. Ayan, Ayan, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, you can start. Now, I would like to call Drasin Rahma for the welcome speech. Respectful teachers, my dear friends, and all the parents who are present here, good morning, everyone. It's me, Razin Rahman, from Rainyak Tamil. How charming and beautiful is today. Sunrise indeed. Every sunrise is a new opportunity. We should not miss it. We should wake up and enjoy the sun. I hope you all have started the day with a positive attitude, full energy and a smile. A new morning is a beginning and a new hope. There is no shortcut to success. A small positive thought can change your life. Respect yourself and your parents, your teachers and everyone in your surroundings and be kind and very organized person and set more goals for your life because creating goals for your day not only set you on the right track to success but also help you feel happy and organized thank you thank you Razin. now i would like to call she have this for the message for the parents who is the director of Hatch Future School? See, Habudin, sir. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Ayan, for the invite and uh, Razin for that wonderful welcome speech. So, we'll start by appreciating one person in particular because I always watch our students closely and I would. Uh, always like to appreciate them for their uh, achievements. So we'll start with one story, the story of uh, Mr. Bilal. So Bilal is a student uh, from our middle grade and his achievement, it's not an academic achievement or not. It's not like he started a business or something like that, but he started a YouTube channel and he posted one of his videos in his YouTube channel. So I have already shared that in our uh, class groups and uh, in uh, even in our uh, social channels also. So it's like, uh, it is a sheer confidence. I would like to appreciate Bilal for his confidence that he has shown. Because when he joined Hash Future School in uh, uh, in June, well, his, uh, like, his communication was not that good. And right now also he's not, uh, I'm not uh, telling that he's uh, like uh, grammatically correct or his vocabulary is good or his accent is also good because mine is also something like that, right? So I, I also don't claim that I have a good vocabulary, I have a good accent or I have a good communication skill. But with whatever skill he has got, with whatever skill he has, he's confident enough to release a YouTube video. And if you watch that YouTube video, you will feel the energy you will get an energy to do something, right? So if such a student uh, who is uh, not having that uh, great communication skill is willing to start a YouTube channel in, in English, that is the result, that is the fruit of our education, right? So that's the result that we are looking for because we don't want everyone to be master of everything. We don't want anyone to be good at anything or we don't want perfection, but we need that confidence in someone who, which leads to success. So if you want to be successful, you will have to start. So that I really appreciate Bilal for that initiative. And that is the kind of result that we are uh, looking forward to in each and every child in, at Hash Future School. So we don't want anyone uh, to let them down because uh, they don't have uh, any, uh, they have some communication is issues or uh, like uh, if they are falling behind in some areas. But we need to identify at Hash Future School, we need to identify 
what is their strength their strength and we need to motivate that and we need to cultivate that culture in each where each and everyone support each other rather than bullying at schools what happens is that in a regular school what happens is that people get bullied for uh, some kind of shortcomings because at times when somebody start to speak there will be some grammatical issues there will be some accent issues there will be some kind of uh, communication issues because uh, somebody is coming from a different uh, a uh, native language background mother some, some some from some different mother tongue and he or she may not be able to communicate well in english or in any other language but that doesn't stop you from communicating or performing in that particular area because if you have got the uh, if you have got the courage and confidence you can perform in any area no matter what uh, kind of skills you have because if you take the case of japanese and the chinese who are leading the market who are uh, the, the chinese for example who are leading uh, the business market they don't know the majority of them don't know english right but they capitalize us and uh, european markets to take the case of japanese they know only japanese but they capitalize the electronics market of the europe and the us where majority of the people speak english so don't take it for granted english is not the only solution or is not the only language that you you need to communicate but the confidence the courage the first step that you take is that what matters so i really appreciate so i i wanted to start this uh, message by appreciating bilal for this initiative and we look forward for more and more videos and more and more initiatives from his side and other students uh, from the uh, side of other students too and this is what we need to do as parents we need to support our children to pursue their dreams because parents may have a lot of dreams right but please never try to uh, enforce your dreams for your children because the world is different the world they are going to uh, thrive the world they are going to survive is a bit different from what we have uh, gone through so don't claim to be a uh, master of all or uh, somebody who knows everything please allow them some uh, time to pursue go behind their dreams because that was the mistake that happened in our part right when we grew up somebody some of our parents or grandparents wanted us to live their dreams and unfortunately we were not able to meet that um, criteria and we ended up uh, in, in a lot of struggles that uh, uh, shouldn't happen in the case of our children we need to allow them to go behind their dreams they will achieve great success if they are passionate enough to do something if they want if they if they uh, get this real support to pursue their dreams so the dream doesn't means that they want to become doctor or engineers because right now in india this is a, this is a case kota factory i don't i'm not pretty sure whether, whether everyone is aware of this kota factory is kota is a region in uh, rajasthan wherein uh, you get entrance coaching for uh, iit je and neet so uh, this, uh, this uh, term kota factory was coined by netflix in a series and now this is getting used because 25 students committed suicide in kota rajasthan in the last year in, in this academic year 25 students committed suicide not because uh, they can't achieve something no uh, it's only because they got uh, pressure from the parents and from the coaching centers because 27 lakh students attend kota in a year attend coaching centers uh, uh, the coaching classes in kota in a year and out of that there are only 54000 seats for uh, medical and there are only 18000 seats for uh, an uh, iit je and what happens uh, 26 lakh uh, lakh people face right and the parents put in pressure and they ask the the students to repeat for two year three year or four years and spoil their okay. life so this is this should not happen so please understand that kota factory is the not only the way forward because there are ample opportunities outside it's not only it's it's not like everyone want to become doc doctor and engineers there are different areas that are coming up and ai artificial intelligence is disrupting everything so the opportunities are immense so you have got opportunity in media you have got, uh, got opportunity in space science you have got opportunities in liberal arts you have got a lot of plenty of opportunities so each and every one if they are allowed to pursue their dreams so that will help them to achieve great success
So if you pressurize them to uh, do something uh, like uh, that align with your dreams, with the, the, with the dreams of the parents, what happens? Finally, these kind of issues will happen. So right now the, uh, the government has banned Sunday test because each and every Sunday they used to have test here at Kota. That is not going to bring results. If you allow the students to build a strategy, build a strategy to uh, crack exams or build a strategy uh, to uh, like appear for these kind of entrance exams in their own way, they will achieve great success. So please keep it in mind. This is not the only way forward. So we will have, we will allow our students to pursue a dream which will align to their passion. And this is what parents need to do. Listen to them actively. Listen to your child actively. Give them some quality time. So please, each and every day, I used to repeat this in each and every speech, right? Because each and every day, please give them some time. Give, give some uh, quality time for your, child, for your uh, child. So sit with them and understand what they feel. And I try to understand what uh, their dreams are. May, maybe they, not be, they may not be dreaming about something uh, which is uh, 50 years ahead, but they'll have some short-term dreams. And these short-term dreams will lead to long-term dreams. Never ever think that uh, if, you, if you give them some kind of uh, professional degrees or if you qualify them for some kind of, uh, uh, some kind of uh, foreign degrees, they are going to be successful in your life and they are going to be happy in their life all throughout. That's not going to happen. So if they are uh, coming up with some short-term dreams also, appreciate that. Listen to them. Give them some quality time. Sit with them. Have uh, some kind of uh, constructive discussions and give them some kind of responsibilities. Give them great responsibilities. Please try to give responsibility from the very young age. Never ever say that uh, you complete uh, your only responsibility to do, uh, to do is to do schooling and uh, go behind the academics. It's not their responsibility. Give them responsibility in each and every area in the business that you do, in the profession. If you want uh, some kind of support in your profession, seek their help. Uh, give them some kind of responsibility at your home. Involve them in your household chores. Please involve them in your house, household chores. Please never ever uh, ask, uh, do everything, the, uh, everything for them. Never ever do that. Please involve them in each and every activities. Make them responsible. So if they are getting, uh, so I got a complaint like uh, some students are getting up by uh, the time the class starts. That shouldn't happen. Ask them to rise early. Ask them to rise early and uh, plan for the day. So if you if you look at my home, uh, everyone uh, uh, is getting up uh, by by around 5 to 5.30, everyone is getting up. So they start rising up uh, by 4.30. I mean, start rising up by 4.30. So I uh, wake up after that. So that happens. So if it, if it is built as a habit, they will rise up early and they should have great plans. So if you don't have a plan for a day, there is no meaning in uh, rising up early. Okay, so if you sit with them and make a plan of what they can do. So make them responsible from the very young age. So never ever think that they are they are they are, they are childish and they will uh, create, uh, they will do something childish. Please believe in the potential of your child and listen to them actively. So this is what uh, we need to uh, as parents we need to do. And we need to provide opportunities and resources. So right now parents may be claiming that I am spending a lot of money for the education of your, uh, the child. And that's what resource, uh, but that's what the only resource I need to give my child. That's not true. That's not true because if you are spending money, they won't, uh, they will find only momentary pleasure. Money have only got a momentary pleasure, right? It has, it has got only short term impact. But if you provide uh, them with some resources which, which enables them to be uh, stronger in the future, some kind of learnings some kind of activities which will help them to learn a lot. Take them out for some kind of events that happens uh, outside, some kind of exhibitions or events that happens. So what happens? They learn a lot and these memories will cherish for a, for a long time. And the kind of responsibilities that you give at an younger age, that will stay, that will uh, stay for a long and that will be, uh, that will be there for the entire life. So provide with resource and uh, opportunities. So whenever I uh, when, whenever I say say about the resources, I always used to say never ever spend uh, huge uh, like uh, huge for the kind of resources. So last day one parent was uh, getting in touch with with me to buy a computer. So uh, she was suggesting like uh, she wanted to buy a MacBook for the child. So I told her that is not required at this age. 
So I asked the, them to uh, go, go and search for uh, Dell or HP laptops, even the refurbished model, and bring in a value in that. So once they get a kind of value, when, when, once, they can, uh, when, once they start to feel the value in that, try to uh, like uh, like uh, try to ask them to uh, bring out like uh, make it fruitful so if if they have got a resource ask them to utilize that resource and build something so if you are behind them or if you are with them so i, I don't want you to be behind them or ahead of them be with them so provide the resources and opportunities so look for the opportunities behind each and every successful child there is a parent who seeks opportunities so look for the events that are happening around. Look for the opportunities in uh, the area that you uh, do the business or uh, in your professional area, wherein they can contribute. Look for the opportunities online and offline. So you can involve your child there. So this is what you need to, this is the kind of resources and opportunities that you need to seek. So once you start seeking this kind of opportunities, believe me, success is going to be very easy for them. And they can come into the limelight at, an, at a very early age. So never ever think that somebody who is achieving something great is having a high IQ. So I know I'm against this, uh, this claim because never believe that somebody who's, who is having a high IQ is going to achieve something great. No, somebody who has got a great mentor or a great parent is going to get, achieve great things because there is a parent or a mentor who listens to them. There's a parent or a mentor who gets them in the right way. So this is the kind of opportunities and uh, the kind of resources that we need to seek. So uh, try to find out some mentors uh, either online or offline, apart from Hashmicho School. So never ever believe that you have given, you have admitted them to Hashmicho School and Hashmicho School will take uh, care of them 100%. Uh, that is not going to happen. Hashmicho School has got their own vision. So it has got a, a different vision. So I really appreciate each and every parent to take this step of taking a different step in education, but that's not the end. Now you need to understand what kind of approach we are taking in education and how you can support your child, how you can support your child in building, in building their, uh, uh, their uh, great future for them. So please provide the right resources and opportunities and appreciate and motivate them. Parents are really good at complaining about your child, right? So if they sit in front of a computer and they spend some time, some longer time in the in in the system, parents right right away comes and like shut out at the students, right? They they ask them to they are not not even asking what you what you are doing with the computer or the mobile phone. At times they may be playing. I'm, I'm not claiming that uh, they are using it constructively. 100, uh, they are using it 100% constructively. But believe me that at times they may be creating something. At, the, at times they may be learning. So try to understand how constructively they are going to use these uh, devices. And try to appreciate and motivate them for the small things they do. Even for the small things they do. If they are just uh, scribbling in a paper and showing you that uh, uh, Papa, Mama, this is an art form, appreciate them for that. So the next time they will come up with something big, something great. So this is what we need to look into. So we need to be great parents to nurture a great, uh, 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 like a great child. So if you want to bring up someone who is, uh, who, is who is an achiever, who is going to be an achiever in the future, you want to be a great parent. So. Being a great parent is really important in uh, nurturing a great uh, futuristic child. So please appreciate and motivate them in all the uh, way possible. And uh, never ever give them some gifts which is uh, really costly. But give them a gift which they uh, for which they find some value. Right. So never ever be uh, go behind some costly uh, gifts or something like that. But uh, if you appreciate them on time and if you uh, are with them, means they will communicate with you effectively they will start communicating with you effectively so this will help you to uh, build a great uh, future for your child and of course you will have to lead by example as great parents you will have to lead by examples because children listen with their eyes children always listen with their eyes they don't uh, they don't go behind the theoretical books they don't somebody asked me like uh, what is the kind of spiritual learning that you give at hashpicho school 
what is the kind of uh, uh, responsible uh, learning or uh, kind of uh, 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 spirituality that you discuss at Ashpicha School? It's not, nothing uh, simple. We discuss about the world. We discuss about the real world happenings. And we try to build something. We try to build some change in the society. And the same we want uh, to, uh, like, we look forward in our children also. The same way, the parents should lead by examples. So if you are someone who is trying out for new things, if you are someone who is trying out for innovations, who is trying out for some kind of change in your life, your child will be watching you and he or she also will try to bring in some changes. If you are someone who does, who, uh, who are uh, active in setting your goals, your child also will start setting their goals. If you are someone who, uh, who is effective, who is constructively using the gadgets, your child also will automatically follow. So when our parents complain about the gadgets usage of uh, this new generation, I used to tell, it is the parents who, uh, who is uh, showing the way. Because uh, the parents don't know how to use these kind of uh, devices constructively. So sit with them, lead by example. So be a great example. If you want to see some changes in your child, lead with an example and try to think whether that quality is there in with you. So please try to lead by examples. And uh, this is one uh, example I recently saw in at Hashpicho school. Honyo Yangya, he's uh, a native of Manipur and he's right now attending the school from Bangalore. And he celebrated his uh, birthday uh, with uh, the inmates of an orphanage. So you could uh, see some uh, some inmates of, uh, orf of orphanage celebrating the birthday with Honyo. So that is really appreciable. So th this might have been done by the parent, right? So the parent should uh, would have taken the initiative for this. But this is a lesson. This is a lifelong lesson for this child, right? And when he shares the lesson with the class, this is going to be a, a lifelong lesson for our children too. So to support you know, the people who are needy in the society, to be with them, to be with the orphans or uh, be with the uh, people who need support, it's it's a great thing. So this is the way we need to cultivate culture in our child, right? So the parents can do a lot of things. I don't want parents to sit with them and teach. So uh, many many of the times what happens is we have corrected it uh, in the uh, previous years. But right now also, there are some parents who sit with their child and teach them. We don't want that to happen. Let them fail and let them do that. Let them fail, allow them to fail. If they are sensitive enough, try them to uh, try to communicate with them and tell them uh, being sensitive is not the solution, right? Being patient is the solution, right? Fail, uh, let's, uh, let them try and fail a lot of times. So when they fail, they will learn a lot. So don't sit with your child and uh, teach them uh, anything uh, or uh, support them in each and every activities that uh, that are given by Hashpicho School. We don't we don't look for perfection. As I always used to say, we don't look for perfection. We want the original creativity from your child, right? We want that original creativity from your child. We don't want the parent to do something or the parent to outsource to someone and uh, making it perfect. Once they do it, do something on their own. They'll start learning on their own. They'll start creating on their own. They will fail. They will learn. They will again fail. They will learn. And finally, they will be successful. And always lead with example. So the parents need to lead with example. The parents need to uh, find out the opportunities for your child. The parents need to take uh, the child outside with you. Parents give, to, give them some quality time and listen to them. This is what we expect from, from parents. We don't want any additional tuitions. We don't want them to uh, be uh, like uh, the parent to sit them, uh, sit with them and do the activities for them. We want the parents to lead by examples and believe in your child's potential. So each and every child has got this potential. So we believe in this. We believe in this principle. Each and every child has got the potential. So please believe in the potential of your child. Support them in the maximum uh, possible ways and bring out the best in them at the earliest possible. So start early and start in a small way or uh, start uh, in uh, like uh, in an in imperfect way. Okay, so they will learn and they will uh, achieve great success. So believe in the potential of each and every child. And we believe that at Hashmicho School, we believe that each and every child who has joined us with, with us uh, have got great potential and they are showcasing these talents. 
and we have uh, uh, done a lot of events in the last month in the previous month we have done uh, the onam celebrations we had uh, the big demo day wherein they uh, re-engineered a project from uh, Audi's uh, concept car and they have presented it in a beautiful way. So if you go through the video of that, uh, you will be amazed to see what the kind of uh, contributions they made. And uh, we, of course, we had this uh, Teacher's Day celebrations and some of our children started earning incomes also. So some of the uh, students who joined the recent batch, they started earning, they started their own business. So we used to claim that we are not a school which uh, provide uh, the people who are seeking uh, employment. We are the one who built entrepreneurs, who create employment opportunities. So here, uh, the students have started their own business and they have started selling. They have started uh, going behind something which they really like to do and try to come out with some kind of income sources from that and support their parents in paying the fees of the school. Right. And we have started a new batch and we have uh, 16 new students joining with us. I'm not really sure whether they will be showcasing that. Uh, they, they won't be showcasing their portfolio uh, uh, during this period because this is a portfolio for the month of August. So the students will be, the students at Hashmicho School will be, provide, uh, will be coming up with their portfolios. And this is the only way. So this is for the information of the parents who has uh, newly joined the Hashmicho School. So this is the only way wherein parents can understand what they have done. So at time when you ask your child, they may not say that what they have learned they, because they are not by hearting anything. But believe me, in the process, they are learning a lot of things. They are learning a lot of things and this is going to be a value add in their uh, real life too, their future life too. And they will be they will be presenting their portfolios. And uh, we will be presenting, uh, Hashmicho School will, is going global and we are uh, going to present at the uh, JTEX event that is happening in Dubai uh, from October 15th to October 15th to October 20th. So we'll be part of uh, the startup uh, group wherein that is called Expand North Star, which is happening in Dubai Harbor. So we, we, we invite each and every parent in the in that region, maybe in the Gulf, in the Middle East region to be with us. So we are looking for some volunteers also. So you can, uh, if your child is interested, let them join with us for the next four days. Let them start selling about hash pictures because we got some support at Bangalore because there was a tech summit that happened in Bangalore some time back and Kendra and Sitar supported us. So we are looking in for some volunteers. So if you are going, uh, if you are looking for some great learning for your children uh, for the uh, for five days because this is a great learning because this is a great event. JTEX is the biggest uh, technology event that is happening in the world. So if uh, they want to be a part of uh, part, uh, they want to be a part of us. And uh, if they wish to volunteer, if they wish to support us, let them come to our stall and uh, be with us for the next five days, uh, for these five days. So I would uh, request the parents to uh, take a note of this because this is an opportunity for the uh, students in the uh, Middle East region. And uh, of course, we will we would like to appreciate. Uh, some of our student entrepreneurs, they have started, uh, Muhammad Adinan started his classes and he uh, bagged eight customers. So this is a great achievement. Getting the first customer is the biggest challenge for a business, right? And he has done that. And uh, of course, Esa Nista, she sold uh, uh, her cho uh, chocolates for around 50 dirhams. So she started earning 50 dirhams and started paying back her parents, right? So this is the kind of uh, learnings that we are looking forward to. And uh, I mean, uh, Muhammad Amin of higher grade, he has uh, he was invited as a speaker in a government event in uh, Kerala, and he he spoke uh, great. So uh, we are uh, we will be sharing the videos of his uh, speech also. It's of course motivational, and our students have started with their own ventures. This is the uh, ventures of our newly joined students, right? The the recent batch. So uh, the students have started their own uh, classes too. And Raheem, uh, uh, Adnan, and Ezza have started with their own business, and other students are also uh, coming up with their initiatives. And this will be the theme because we are continuing with the theme. This is a theme we have taken uh, two months back, and we are continuing with this theme. And of course, our Global Citizenship Parliament is an initiative aligned to this theme. So this will be there, and we'll be continuing with the theme Be the Change. So we want our children to be change makers, we want them to contribute to the real world. We want them to understand what is happening in the real world and how they can contribute from this younger age. So we don't want them to wait uh, till they reach the age of 25, 30 or 40. We want them to contribute from the very younger age. So this is going to happen at Hashpicho School. And I really thank each and every parent for the support they provide.
and of course we are open for the admissions uh, on the november 2023 batch we are coming up with a new batch in november and i would uh, uh, really seek the support because the support of the parents are really valued in this case because we got 16 admissions in our uh, october uh, in our september batch and we are re really thankful uh, for the parents for the support because the parents supported us in a lot of ways because majority of the times the uh, uh, the, the newcomers ask uh, for the reference of uh, parents for the existing parents and we have given the numbers we give the numbers in a random way and uh, they really support us so please support us in this uh, admission initiative we are starting a batch in november 2023 and we will be coming to jtex also and uh, of course we if you could bring in some some of your friends and relatives to the jtex stall we could meet them personally and we could uh, discuss with them what kind of educational initiatives we are taking up so we would uh, request uh, your child to be a volunteer and also at the same time you to bring some of your friends and uh, neighbors and i'll be there in dubai for 10 days so if you could support us uh, in a way like uh, if you could uh, if you could give us some opportunities to meet some communities or some of your friend circles that will be a great a really great value at wherein we can communicate with them uh, the way that we are envisioning at hash future school so really thank to thanks to each and every parent and the child and the facilitators and the entire team of hash future school for uh, another successful month and we look for uh, many more successful uh, success stories in the uh, days to come Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shihabuddin, sir.